no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. Hello, my dear friends. How are you all doing on this glorious day that the Lord has made? Say it with me. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Yay! I'm glad. I hope you are too. I'm glad to be alive and well. Got out of bed, able to walk, able to breathe, able to function, dress myself, make myself breakfast, all that stuff. I am grateful for it every single step of the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Behind me, I have a be another beautiful Christmas background. Do you see it? Isn't it lovely? It's so dreamy. It's so lovely. I love looking at beautiful things. Thank you, Father, for making beautiful things and giving the mind and the creativity for the people to make beautiful things for us to all look at. Amen. Amen. All right, let's go ahead and get started with today's word with Joel and Victoria Osteen. The scripture here is Luke 17, 6 from NIV. He replied, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to the small berry tree, be rooted, be uprooted and plant it in the sea, and it will obey you. Praise be to God. The title here today is A Little Faith. When the odds are against you, and what you're up against seems impossible, don't believe the lie that you don't have enough faith. God says, when you have faith a size of a mustard seed, nothing is impossible. A mustard seed is one of the smallest seeds. A little faith is like a match that can ignite a huge fire. A little faith can start a huge blessing. Little faith can open big doors. Little faith can heal you from terminal illness. Little faith can defeat great giants. You have the faith you need to get to your destiny. Now do your part and start mixing in the faith to ignite the promises of God in your life. How do you mix your faith? You agree with God what he has promised. Thank the Lord. Say, Lord, thank you that I can do all things through you. Thank you that the enemies I see today, will I, I will see no more. Thanks that I can depend on you. Now, that's not just being positive, okay? That's mixing faith Mixing your faith, okay, with God's promises. That activates the promises. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, thank you, Joel. Thank you, God, for that. And the prayer here today is, Father, thank you that you don't expect me to have a great faith that never doubts. Thank you that you see my mustard seed faith and that it is enough to make anything possible. I believe that as I mix my faith with your promises, that you will ignite great things in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I totally agree with that. Okay. And then today I'm going to be reading from the Bible, the Holy Bible, Matthew 6, 25 from NIV. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink or about your body, what you will wear is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I amen that. It is so true. And now for Sarah Young's Jesus Always. I will be reading from page 374. Those who wait upon me will gain new strength. Spending time alone with me is so good for you, but it is increasingly countercultural. Multitasking and staying busy have become the norm. During the Advent season, there are even more things to be done and places to go. So I encourage you to break free from all the activity and demands for a while. Seek my face and enjoy my presence, remembering that Christmas is all about me. Waiting upon me is an act of faith, trusting that prayer really does make a difference. Come, come to me with your weariness and burdens. 
being candid and real with me. Rest in my holy presence and tell me about your concerns. Let me lift the burdens from your aching shoulders. Trust that I am able to do exceedingly abundant above all you ask or think. As you arise from these quiet moments, hear my whispering, I am with you throughout the day, rejoicing in the new strength you have gained through spending time with me. Oh, amen, amen, amen. That is so beautiful. Thank you, Sarah Young, for that word, and thank you, God. And the scripture references here today is from Isaiah 40, 31, from NASB, Psalm 27, 8, Matthew eleven twenty eight, Ephesians three twenty, all from NKJV. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your faithfulness in us and teaching us about faith. Jesus, when you were here on earth, you were teaching us about faith. And there are so many people before you had tremendous faith. And God, you had performed miracles in their lives. So Father, we take our little mustard seed and we ask that you ignite it, Lord. We mix it with your promises. And we ask that you would ignite a gigantic, big blessing. You know what our needs are. So, Father, do your will. Do your will in and through us. We have tremendous faith that we will be healed. We have tremendous faith that we will be restored. We have tremendous faith for resources and finances and success for businesses and ministry. Lord, Thank you. Thank you so much that we, all we have to do is focus, focus on you, be in tune to you, letting you, Holy Spirit, pour in and through us. Father, help us to continue to stay in your peace as we gather so many items and gifts in this season of Christmas, celebrating your birthday. Father, this is about you, God, and you, Jesus of what you have done on this green earth. So we want to honor you with it. Help us to only do what we're supposed to be doing through your will and nothing more. Anytime we are stressed out, we let that be a sign for us that we are out of sync, out of your grace, out of your plan, out of your mercy, okay? So help us to just stay in your peace and your joy in the midst of all that is going on. Help us to rejoice and celebrate you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. All right, my dear brothers and sisters, until tomorrow, Anito.